So on my right here, I've got this linear line that has been graphed and I can tell a couple of things about this linear line. I can tell that it's cutting this y-axis here at 5 and that the point 2, 1 also lies on this line. Now a skill that I might want to be able to do is I might want to be able to describe any point on this linear line using an equation. And one such form that I can represent my equation in is what's known as y-intercept form. Now when we looked at that in our previous video, y-intercept form said that we could represent equations that looked like y equals m multiplied by x and then plus c where our m value here is the gradient or the slope of our linear line and our c value is the y-intercept or where it cuts through this y-axis. So if I can determine from our information we've got in our graph what the slope and our y-intercept are, I can then use those properties to represent an equation for that linear line that represents every coordinate that lies on this linear line. So let's take a look at doing that. The first thing I'm actually going to start with is this C value, where it cuts through the y-axis. And that in this situation here has actually been given to us and we can see that it cuts the y-axis at the point 5. So our line here has a y-intercept of 5. So what we know about this in this equation is our c value is actually equal to 5. So what we need to find is this m value or our gradient of this. Now to find the gradient we can actually use two coordinates to find it and luckily here we have two coordinates. We've got the y-intercept which is the coordinate 0, 5 and we've got the other coordinate we've been given of 2, 1. So we can use our slope formula now to find the gradient of this linear line. So our slope formula said that it's equal to y2 take y1 or the rise divided by the run of x2 take x1. So what we can do here is we can just label our coordinates now. So I'll call this x1 y1 and this x2 y2 and I can substitute these values into my formula. So my y2 is equal to 1, subtract my y1 value of 5, and that's going to be divided by my x2 of 2, subtract my x1 of 0. Now 1 subtract 5 is negative 4, divided by 2 subtract 0 is just equal to 2, so therefore, my slope is equal to negative 4 divided by 2, which is negative 2. So my m value of my formula now is equal to negative 2. So what I've now done is I've identified the two properties that I need to be able to substitute these back and represent the equation for this linear line. Now, when I do that, the equation for this linear line is going to be y is equal to our m value of negative 2, multiplied by my x and then I'm going to be adding my y-intercept and because my y-intercept is positive it's going to be adding still so I'm going to be adding 5. And now what I've done is I've represented an equation for every coordinate that lies along this linear line and that equation is y equals negative 2x plus 5. So to summarize to represent an equation in y-intercept form from a graph that we've got, if you can identify the slope of the graph and identify the y-intercept of the graph, we can immediately substitute those values back in to identify the equation that represents every coordinate that lies on that linear line.